automated provisioning. There is always a high demand for computing resources. Groups charged with software development, testing, and compliance reporting, they need environments to do their jobs. Now, traditional server cloning is difficult, it's expensive, and it takes a lot of time. Now, there's a better way to spin up a test environment completely isolated from your production assets using your existing backups. Announcing Unitrend's automated provisioning. Now, administrators are able to instantly create isolated, fully featured test and development environments using existing backup data faster than traditional server cloning. Now these test environments can be used for software version testing, what if analysis, compliance testing, and reporting. When testing is done and complete, you simply delete the environment. Let's take a closer look. All right, so we're gonna start here in our Unitrends console in the Protect tab. Because once again, the first thing you really gotta kinda do is make sure that you have valid backups for the assets that you wanna do data copy, access, or create test environments for. So we're gonna filter out here. We verify that we've got some protected assets. So we're gonna click data copy access at the top. In this menu here, we can choose our virtual assets and our physical assets. So we go through our virtual host and pick our guests, and we can choose the physical assets from the Windows Instant Recovery. On the next section, we can choose the profile. Tells us which location we want to send this test environment to. You can set up everything from the host, the resources, the data store, the recovery and test and network environments, and the appliance network as well too. So in the next setting here, you can run an on-demand, but you can also create a schedule, even running it every six hours, two hours, uh, whatever your compliance is. But most of the time, you're going to use for creating a, an on-demand job. You can also change the boot order and CPU and memory utilization inside of here because your, your production environment may not be the same available resources you have in your test environment or your dev environment as well. So you may have to limit some of that stuff. Once you create your jobs in here, you can go through the jobs menu. You can see those jobs. You can view those details from inside of here. And you can edit the job as well too. Once again, you can see your physical and virtual assets in here and change those definitions and the jobs, the details as well. And you can run this job on demand and create an instant lab access. Inside of here, you can see our certified recovery points. The green are the good certified recovery points. The red are failed and black has never been attempted. There was no test ran across this recovery point. So it's really cool to be able to see that as well in here. Once you create this job, it creates an instant lab for you to access here. And inside of our instant recovery section in our, our recovery tab now, you'll be able to see this job uh, uh, being created and, and powering up our instant recovery machines, creating this instant lab for us. All right, once again, it's the instant recovery tab at the top. Your machines will slowly start to power on depending on that boot order once again using the resources that you set depending on your lab environment. All three machines will go into audit mode. Some services may be dependent on each other as well too. You gotta figure that out and create your groups in those dependent orders as well too. Now, once your machines are all in audit mode, you've done your testing, you wanna tear those machines down. Uh, you can view the details as well too, but you wanna make sure you tear all of those machines down but a great way to create instant access for any assets that you have and you need that instant recovery access to.